Okay, now you're out of focus again. Hello everybody, this is JD. What I'm going to talk about, you people listen to. The 47% of you Obama fans, just turn it off, go somewhere else. We don't need to hear your crap. I'm going to give the man a fair shake. You decide, the rest of you. And you 40, 45 Republicans who are going to vote Republican no matter what either. Go ahead and get lost. You don't need to hear this either. Okay. Bottom line, we had a debate. Yes, Mick Romney had a lot of stuff to put out. And Obama could only repeat the Democrat commercials. That's all. He couldn't come out with anything real. I expect to hear the zinger on a 47 next debate. But the truth of the matter is, it's true. Plain and simple, and I could say this because I'm not a presidential candidate, but the black vote, the majority of the black vote, and I would, I would estimate close to 80% of the black vote are going to vote for Obama only for one reason. And I can say this. In my opinion, they're voting for Obama for one stupid reason. And it's the level of his tan. That's it. They don't care about politics of the nation. They don't care about the economy of the nation. All they care about is that they get a black president. Okay? Now that's the black vote. Now what about the hardcore Democrats? Like I said, the Democrat, hardcore Democrats would vote Joseph Stalin into this country as president. They don't care about the economy. They don't care about the nation. All they care about is the Democrat Party. But the same could be said about the Republicans. The Republicans, hardcore Republicans, will do exactly the same thing. So here we are. We got three groups that are going to vote in this presidential campaign. Not for the best man. Not for the most qualified. But for very stupid reasons. One, because either he's a Democrat or a Republican. And that's the way he's going to vote. Two, for the level of the tan. That the gentleman is caroling. Now, why do I say such things? Because I am dealing with these problems right now, all around me. Let me give you an example. A lady ranting and raving on the radio about the Obama phone. I voted for Obama because I'm on welfare and he gave me this phone. No, he didn't give the phone. Bush gave her the phone. Obama got the bill. <laughs> That's part of the depression or recession, whatever you want to call it, that we're going through. It added costs to social welfare. And Bush gave the phone. Obama got the bill. That's the truth. But she can't understand that. Bottom line is, though, the part that really upsets me about Obama is after the debate, the first thing he says, Oh, there's two Romneys. The one that was at debate and the one with all these Obama commercials describing. No, 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 no. Obama says it's one thing, he says it's another. That's it. They both don't agree on who Mick Romney is. Now, I've been listening, I'm in Virginia, and I've been listening, and we're getting hit heavy with both campaigns. I'm hearing the 47%, I'm hearing the $5 trillion and all that from the Obama campaign. But from Mick Romney's campaign, I don't hear that. I hear building, getting jobs, getting the middle class to work, working the middle class. Yes, there's going to have to be taxes, but it's aimed towards the upper echelon, not the lower echelon. He can't give you specifics because unfortunately, as a leader, he can't do that. 
I mean, I could see him going into Congress right now, say, okay, I got elected as president. I'm Mick Romney. This is what you're going to do whether you like it or not. We're going to do this, 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 this. Don't go over very well. Goes over like a ton of bricks. Look at the problems Obama and Nancy Pelosi had when they had full control of the House and Senate. When they walked in and said, we're going to do Obamacare. It's going to be this, 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 and this. That's it. What happened? Everybody who was not a sheep following along the dag behind the skirts of Nancy Pelosi said, heck no. But there wasn't enough to stop it. So they rammed it through. Now, one other thing I ask people, you want to know the sign of a real failure? Someone who says they're going to do something and then says, well, there wasn't enough time. There was these problems. There were these problems. There were those problems. There was this problem and that problem. A lot of excuses for non-performance. Well, I ask everybody out there, every one of you who listen to this video, tell me, put in your comment sheets, two things Obama did, not including Obamacare. Two things. And don't give the war crap and catching Bin Laden. Bin Laden was killed at the convenience of the United States government, not by o Obama. When he no longer served a function, they removed him. As long as he was serving a function, and he was serving a function, they left him alive. Bottom line. I don't want to hear about Iraq war. I don't want to hear about Afghanistan war. I don't want to hear about none of Bin Laden. I don't want to hear about Obamacare. Don't. I want to know what Obama did for this country. Two things. Just two things. Name me two things he did for this country. Did he increase employment? No. Did he get everybody jobs? No. Did he get us out of recession? No. Did he reduce the deficit? No. Did he reduce government spending? No. Did he do any of his promises? Mm, you answer that. Okay? Truth of the matter is, I haven't made a decision yet who I'm going to vote for. Obama or Mick Romney or myself. If Obama turns me off enough, I will vote Mick Romney. If Obama doesn't turn me off, I don't know. Four years of nothing with another four years of nothing? I don't know. Maybe the people get sick and tired of the political parties then. But that's what you're going to get with Obama. Of course, I don't know how it's going to affect the nation, but I'll live through it. Now, why am I making this video if I'm not running for president? I'm not. But why am I making this video? Probably to tell Obama to get off the doggone stick and start doing his job. And if he wants to campaign, start being truthful and honest. He wasn't in 2008, and he's not right now, or 2007. Stop being honest. Start telling the people what you want to see, not what you think the other guy is. Because the other guy is saying what he is, and we don't even know what you are. You say, Mick Romney, give us some specifics. I've been in the Navy 26 years. Had a lot of leader positions. Specifics is the one thing you don't give out. You give out the direction and how you want to get there or where you need to get to. The specifics, they are constantly changing. So, can I say today what the specifics, specifics are going to be three months from now? No. I'm sure when Obama was going through making all his promises in the previous election, he didn't know about this great recession coming around the corner. And he gave out all kinds of specifics. And every single one of them has not been met yet. So 
It's not Obama's fault that the f number of people on food stamps went through the roof. It's not Obama's fault that the number of people in foreclosures is constantly climbing. But what has he done to stop it? Nothing. That's where the problem lies. And when he says, well, it can't be done in four years. No, there should be some things showing right now. There is nothing showing. That means every program he took was a failure. Look at him yelling about the, I think it's 128 or $228 million the oil subsidies gets. I mean, these countries show record profit and they get in maybe as much as 220, 230, 50 million dollars. What about the billions that were lost in his green programs? Many of which were companies were overseas. Billions, not millions, billions lost. Companies got the money, declared bankrupt, ran overseas with it, and now it's gone. Your tax dollars are my tax. Well, actually, it's our bill. Because he borrowed from China to give him this money. Now we're stuck paying it back. I'll tell you what. Let's kind of make this in perspective. Let's take the 20, 250 million. Compare it to, let's say, 7 billion. Hmm. Which one would you want to pay if you had to pay back? Unfortunately, you're paying back the seven billion plus interest and the two hundred and fifty. So you got to pay both. True. That subsidies of two hundred fifty is nothing compared to what they make in the oil companies. That goes to the individual little guys, the individual guys who own some land and say, "Hey." There's oil under here. Help me put a well in. That's where it goes to. It doesn't go to actually Exxon or BP. They get it by buying the oil that that guy pumps out of his land. But they don't want to tell you that. But what about all those green energies that went bankrupt after they got our money? That's another one of Obama's plans. Actually, what has he done to cut the deficit? Nothing. What has he done to cut spending? Nothing. What has he done to get a lot of Americans jobs? He's done some. Believe me, he has done some. I know what he has done. Can you tell me? They're not great. They're not big. But if you look around on your roads around the country, you'll see that our roads are slowly getting better. Somebody's spending money to fix those roads. But what did Obama really do? And he says, I couldn't, I need four more years. That is the line of failure gives. I failed, give me more time so I could fail again. That's basically what it comes down to be. Obama... Quit worrying about Mick Romney and start telling the people about Obama. You have the election to win or lose. That is your choice because you've already got enough votes unless you turn them against you. Obama, Mick Romney has to fight to win. You just have to survive to win. Start thinking positive. Because otherwise, you may turn the people against you. As far as myself, I have yet to decide if there's any, either one was worth voting for. This is JD. This is Obama's election to lose. And I think he's on that path. I personally would like to see him win. Because maybe then the American people will see the fallacy. 
to the political party election process in this nation and we can get rid of it. That's how much confidence I have in Obama. Thank you. Have a nice day.